So you found one of our videos on YouTube and now you got that itch to get something dipped. Oh wait, this is cool. I gotta give me some of this hydro dipping. Oh, I gotta get something dipped. Take my money. All right, Scooter, calm down. Before we can dip anything, we gotta pick a pattern. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here today. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step exactly how you can pick a pattern for your next project. Stick around, we'll show you how we do it. So getting your hydrographics order is just a little bit of a process. It's not terribly difficult. We're gonna take you step-by-step step on how to do it. This is gonna cover part number one, which is picking one of these cool patterns for your project. So to make the process of picking out a pattern as easy as possible, we have optimized our website to make it super simple so that you can find exactly what you're looking for. Before we jump over to the website and show you how to use it, let's go over a few things that you need to know about these patterns. So to help you understand a little bit more about how these patterns work, I brought out a bunch of rolls of film. We're gonna go through them individually, so let's get these out of the way and we'll talk about the first ones. So the first type of pattern we're going to talk about is these two. These are completely customizable patterns. The reason that they're completely customizable is because all of these little white areas that you see is not actually white. They're actually clear. So what does it mean when the film has clear areas in it? It means that you can choose what color you want these to be. To help demonstrate what I'm talking about, I have got some construction paper. We're gonna put this underneath the film so that you can see the difference. So as you can see on films like these, depending on what base coat color you choose to go with, will determine what your final product's gonna look like. And on these films, you can choose any base coat color you want, except for black. If you put black underneath a black inked film, it will just look black. So the next type of pattern we're going to talk about is patterns like these. These are semi-customizable. All these patterns have a original base coat color that we recommend for them, but you can change them just a little bit. Let's take this sugar skull pattern, for instance. The recommended base coat for this sugar skull pattern is white, and that is because there's hardly any clear areas in this film. It is meant to be the brightest coloration under a white base coat. Now, if you want to, you can do a little bit darker color like this pink. It still looks good. It all really just depends on what you like the best. But it was originally designed to have a white base coat. And the same thing goes for this coyote fur pattern. This one is originally meant to have a white base coat pattern. It is what makes the coyote fur look the most realistic. Now, you can adjust it some by going with more of a biscuit or beige color, which will give you a little bit darker of an effect or you can go with a really dark beige to give it a really dark effect. So like I said, with patterns like these, you can customize them a little bit, it just depends on what your liking is, but if you wanna know what the original base coat color is, all you gotta do is ask us. So the next kind of pattern we're gonna talk about is patterns like these that are not customizable at all. The reason you can't customize these patterns is because they are licensed. This is Multicam, this is Cryptek, and this is Mossy Oak. We are not allowed to adjust the base coat color on any licensed patterns. We have to use the recommended base coat per the manufacturer's specifications. But that's okay because they look great with their recommended base coat colors. Now, if you want a camo pattern that you can customize a little bit, let me show you one. So here's one of our universal camo patterns. This one can be used with any base coat color that you like. Now, it has something that looks really good with, and then you can choose to adjust it how you want. For this particular pattern, the recommended base coat color is white, so I'll go ahead and give you a little quick look at how that looks. So that gives it a really, really bright look. You can also go with one of the different beiges, either a light or a dark, and you can adjust the pattern how you like. So if you want it to be somewhere in the middle, you'd go with a light beige. And then if you want it to be really dark, you'll go with a dark beige. The last two patterns we're gonna go over are carbon fiber type patterns. There are, there's a bunch of different styles and colors and different weave patterns. It all depends on what you like the best but there's a few general rules when it comes to choosing carbon fiber. If you want a traditional carbon fiber look, you would go with a silver base coat with a dark colored carbon fiber like this one over the top. Now you can customize this and you can go with something like this metallic blue and it just makes for a really dark blue carbon fiber, which is cool, looks great. Now for lighter color carbon fibers like this silver right here, what you need to remember is that if you put a light color underneath this, you're not going to be able to see the carbon very well. So these lighter colored silver and white carbon fibers look best over darker colors like this dark blue. In the end, the thing to remember with carbon fibers is they are completely customizable. You can do whatever you want, but if you need some suggestions, just ask and we'll show you what we got.
So now that you have a better understanding of how the patterns and base coat colors work together, we'll narrow down all these tons of patterns to choose from into exactly what you're looking for. Let's jump over to the website. I'll show you how to do it. So what we'll do is we'll start from the homepage, atfhydrographics.com. Up here on the top, you'll see a bunch of different tabs that you can click on. The one we're looking for is patterns. Once you get on the patterns page, there's a little blurb here about the different patterns, and then there's the actual link to the pattern gallery. Once you click on it, it will take you over to the pattern gallery navigation page. It's set up to where you have a bunch of different categories, so it's pretty easy to find exactly what you're looking for. Um, so for this one, we'll go to the miscellaneous patterns. And once you get over to the miscellaneous patterns page, you will see a bunch of different small images of patterns that we have. So while we go through this, I'll kind of show you some things about this that you need to know. The first thing that we usually get questions on is why is there a little quarter down here in the corner of some of the pictures? The reason for the quarter is to give you a size comparison as to what size the pattern is versus how big the quarter is. So if you can just imagine a quarter, put it up next to the pattern and I'll show you how big it is. Some patterns are printed really large for bigger items and some patterns are printed very small for smaller items. So we'll go on down here just a little bit and you'll see that some of these patterns are shown more than once and they're shown with different background colors. What that is for is so that you can kind of get an idea of what that pattern will look like with different background colors. So like on this one with the music notes, you have one in green, one in pink, one in white, and it shows you what specific base coat color is used on that pattern in that picture. So if you click on one, you'll go up here, there's the actual code that we'll need for the pattern that you picked, and it tells you what base coat color that they use in this particular picture. You can scroll over to the next one if you want, or you can exit out of this and go back to the pattern gallery and look at all the different types of patterns. Here's another example on these lace flowers of a bunch of different base coat colors that you can use on this particular pattern, kind of give you an idea of how it would look. Now, as we talked about with some of the patterns that are not as customizable as others, this is an example of one. The Sticker Bomb Americana is a pattern that pretty much requires a white base coat color for all of these images to show up the way that you see here on the screen. You could probably go with something a little bit lighter like a beige, but it won't look exactly like what you're seeing here on the screen. Now here's an example, kind of like the coyote fur pattern that I showed you a little while ago on this toke toke pattern, that if you use a little bit darker base coat color, you can change the brightness of the image itself. So over here you've got some in like a digital base beige, these are like a darker base, then you've got silver and white, and you can definitely see there is a coloration difference between the three base coat patterns. And if you want to take a closer look at it, you click on the image and it brings up an even closer view. And you'll see this one has a white base coat and it has the quarter down here so that you can see what size this particular pattern is. So once you find a particular pattern that you like, what you will need to do is go up here to the top, just like I was saying, there is a code and a name for each pattern. This particular one is 532.5 and it's called Pretty Cool. So when you call an order from us, what you'll need to do is give us that code and the name of the pattern as well as what base coat color you want with that pattern. Now, if you've gone through and you haven't found a particular pattern that you're looking for or you have something very specific that you want and you don't find it, all you need to do is contact us and we'll see if we can source it from somewhere else or if it's something that we can have custom made for you. Now, back here on the main gallery pattern page, you can go down here to the paint color choices and click on that option. It will bring you over to here and you've got some more categories to choose from. We've got neon paints, glows, metallics and our standard paint colors. So we've gone into the regular flat colors and you can see it has a pretty good representation of what these colors will look like. That way you can choose your base coat color right here on the website as well. So once you've picked your base coat color and your pattern, you are well on your way to getting your first item dip. But there's one more thing that you'll need to consider before you can make your order, and that is what clear coat option you pick. We have an entire video that covers all of our clear coat options that tells you all about them. You get to see them up close and personal. I give you a full description of them. I'll leave a link to that video right up here so that you can go check it out. I also left a link down in the description box below if you want to check it out down there. If this is your first time checking out the channel, we want to thank you very much for watching today's video. We want to invite you to go down below, hit that thumbs up button if you like today's video. Also, be sure to subscribe. That way you can be notified every time we come out with a new video. We usually do one video every Sunday of us dipping something really cool. This just happens to be one of our frequently asked questions videos that we post here for our website and customers that want to place an order. If you want to help support the channel, you can do so by visiting any of our affiliate links down in the description box below. Also, if you want to try Freedom Lube, you can get your hands on a bottle for 10 
10% off using our very own coupon code. Just go to freedomlineproducts.com, type in the coupon code ATF10, and you will get 10% off your entire order. So we're constantly updating our Frequently Asked Questions playlist. If you haven't seen that playlist, I will leave a link to it right up here where you can go check it out. Many of your questions have already been answered, but if you have a question that we haven't answered yet, you can go down in the comments section below, leave a comment, and we will consider it for an upcoming video. If you don't know what to watch next, but you want to check out another one of our videos, hang out to the end. YouTube will actually suggest a video that you may like from our channel. But don't go to the end of the video just yet. We've got some laughs here for you. Let's roll those bloopers. Out a pattern that we um, we now hold on just a second, Scooter. We got a we got a um, over to the website, and we'll show you exactly. Um, we'll we'll show you exactly. Uh, oh my God, this is taking forever. What do I have? Dial up AOL over to the website let's we can narrow down all these patterns and stay all right so either my mouse just died and went to live with jesus or i have watched way too much midget porn and my computer is frozen because it's yours and you 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 gotta like it so we yeah maybe it just needs some air holes for better ventilation and to do our different base coat color. Now that you have a better understanding of um uh, of I don't understand why I can't talk. But if you want to see us dip something, we do it ever we do it. We do we do it. Mm -hmm.